Hour and uh, Samantha watching Free Speech, or Sabrina, I'm sorry, watching Free Speech TV in Nottingham, Pennsylvania. Hey, Sabrina, what's up? Hi, Tom. I'm a first-time caller, and I want to thank you for all you do. Thank you very much. We're getting a lot of first-time callers. I think we're probably getting a lot of new new viewers right now. What's up? Good. Um, yeah. So I'm calling about the proposed bill that Doug Erickson from a uh, Republican from Washington wants to put through in the next session. Oh, that would criminalize dissent? Yeah, it uh, deems it as economic terrorism and makes it a Class C felony. Right. Are you aware of that? Uh, yeah, and it has. In fact, it was. It's, it's on my stack of things to talk about today. And by the way, this did not just come out of the blue. Um, we have laws like this already. If you if you try to report on what's going on in a you know in a feedlot or a factory farm right now, if you even take pictures of it from a distance, you can be put in jail. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have already criminalized many aspects of reporting, but and 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 that's not and 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 protest. You know, if you if you take a job in a in a meat packing plant and take secret pictures just to protest what they're doing, you go to jail. I mean, they, they're so much of our, so many of our First Amendment rights. Look at what's go, going on with the Dakota Access Pipeline. Your right to publicly assemble and petition your government for redress of grievances, uh, to use the language of the First Amendment, totally abridged by, by this company, its goons, and, and frankly, with the apparent complicity of the local government. Back to you, Sabrina. So do you, um, I, I, I guess my, my main uh, thing that took, took notice for me was that if you are going to protest at a pipeline or even walking past stores and you're blocking quote unquote commerce, that that could, qualifies you as being an economic terrorist. Yes. And it also applies to people who support these organizations like online or, or giving donations or whatever, that it could go to them too. And I just wanted to get this information out to the public and and see if we can get ahead of this. Yeah, uh, we're already behind it, actually. I mean, you know, legislation like this was proposed numerous times during the, during the last Bush administration. And um, outside of very narrow areas like logging and uh, factory farming, it was largely repudiated. But um, I'm, I, I share with your concern, I share your concern. I, uh, this, this, and and to, to 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 go even a step farther, I mean, Donald Trump uh, uh, called the press in yesterday to Trump Tower, and from the reports that are leaking out now, he gave them a dressing down. He told them that they were liars. He wasn't going to put up with it. He wasn't going to tolerate it. Blah de blah de blah. And uh, you know, this is this is a very this is a very scary beginning to what I think is has the every possibility of being a very scary presidency. And uh, hearing me. Yeah, there's a couple of uh, really good pieces over the New York Times, particularly one in their magazine, which will appear you know this weekend, but it's online right now. It's on their front page online um, about how Donald Trump and other billionaires have already started using the law uh, or the threat of lawsuits, basically. You know, that the, the, they would break people that they don't like financially, even if they lose the case. They would break them financially, try to defend themselves. Um, by charging them with things like libel or slander or harassment or whatever, and and there are and there are and there were passed by the way during the Bush era some some bills that criminalized interference with commerce. It's just a matter of taking it just another half a step. So I think we're halfway there, Sabrina. Uh, thank you for the call. I share your concern. We'll be back.